Hello Runner, in this video I am going to be showing you some examples of warm ups and cool downs for you to do before and after your runs, which I highly encourage. We'll start with warming up. Warming up will help you prepare your cardiovascular system for activity. It also warms up your muscles and increases your muscles elasticity, which is going to help prevent injuries during activity. The first warm up exercise I'll show you is hip circles. For this, you'll stand on one leg and lift the opposite knee up and then start just drawing really big circles with that knee, really opening the hip up out to the side and then bringing it down and forward and up and switching directions. I would recommend maybe five to 10 on each side, but do as many as you need to to feel like your body is properly warmed up. And of course, switching sides and doing both sides. The next exercise targeting the knees and ankles are knee circles. So you'll bend your knees deeply, bringing your hands to above your knees and just begin to, again, draw circles with your knees together, keeping your feet flat on the floor as you do this. And I would recommend five to 10 in each direction. So remembering to switch directions of your circles. And the next warm up exercise is skipping. And as you skip, focusing on jumping straight up at the ankle. And I'd recommend about 20 steps. And then the last warm up I'll show you today is starting your run off with a brisk walk for about two to five minutes. And then when you're done with your workout, beginning the cool down. Cooling down will help gradually decrease your heart rate and your body temperature, and it can speed up your body's recovery time from activity. It also may prevent you from feeling dizzy or lightheaded, which can sometimes happen if you stop exercising all of a sudden. One way you can cool down is simply walking for two to five minutes after you are done with your run. And another cool down exercise that's great is walking backwards carefully, making sure you're not tripping over anything behind you. And you could do this for maybe 30 seconds to a minute or however long you'd like. And then finishing off with some static stretches, starting with a calf stretch in a lunge position. So coming into a lunge position and bringing both feet flat on the floor and bending the front knee until you feel a stretch in your back calf muscle. And doing the other side. And then the last static stretch I'll show you today, I don't actually know the proper word for this, but I am calling it a, a side squat with a forward fold. You'll interlace your fingers behind your back and extend your arms as straight as you can to stretch out the chest. And then opening both toes out, you'll bend deeply in one knee as you straighten the other leg and then bow your chest over the extended leg and switching sides. This is targeting a lot of different muscles. All right, that's great. Thanks for watching. And like I said, I highly encourage you to pick at least one or two of these warm up and cool down exercises and incorporating them into your workouts.